Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with another episode, um, or process, whatever you want to call it, for the collage um, journal, and that's and that's just the theme that I'm calling it, um, but just the collage journal that I am putting together. So, basically, what my thought process is on this one is just getting your scraps. Use up those scraps that we keep. I mean, I know I keep everything. I cannot throw anything away. Um, so that's, you know, the coffee dyed paper uh, scraps, pieces of fabric, pieces of book pages that you wouldn't use. Um, you know, again, some of it can be vintage, some of it's not. I do like the theme of the vintage, meaning vintage photo is all throughout these. Tissue paper. I've added tissue paper on top. I've sewn through this. So that's the main process when it comes to this journal here that I'm that I'm putting together. Now, for... I just lost my train. Okay, little tiny snippets here. Long video, gab, may not like it continue on. Okay, so these are what I have been doing. This is what I've shown in the past couple of videos, and this one I just realized I've got to put something up in there. So when I do a collage like this, I use magazine pages. Um, there's a, there's only like two, there's two magazines that I subscribe to. One of them's a card making um, magazine, and the other one, of course, is Daphne's Diary, which is awesome. I love that magazine. I love all magazines. I could just flip through them forever um, just to get some ideas. Um, but for the card making one, I keep some things that inspire me when it comes to photos. I have a, a book that I just, or a file folder that I just keep putting things in there um, and page through. But those pages I use. So my my collage sheets that I create are are flimsy. I mean, they're not on cardstock. So the beauty of that is I just take one of those sheets, um, and it is a European magazine. Um, so it's these pages are just over eight and a half by just under eighth and a quarter. So I think that's A6 or A2. And now our A regular A2 standard card base. So A4, A4 or A6. I don't know what that size is. I'm sure you all will tell me down in the comments, but please do. Um, so I just fill this up. I put my layers on and then I just add some sewing, um, especially where the fabric is. I want to make sure that the sewing is on those pieces with straight and jagged edges and I make it look horrible and all of that fun stuff. I use some of my stamped images that I have because why not? We have it. Um, and these are just all of my scraps. So what the beauty is, that, and if it's a picture on the page, I'll let that there. I mean, why cover it up? It's, it's an image, you know, as long as there's no bad words or anything else like that, which I take no responsibility of on the book pages that I use. Um, but we can make the different shapes that we want for this and we can back them onto those pieces. So we can make whatever we want. Again, here's our journal. It's a single signature. I've already sewn it all together. Um, these are the pages that we have put in. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to show is we're just going to start making some of our ephemera. I have three pages here. So then the next video, if there is going to be one more, I want to see what I get from these three. I'll show again the process of creating these bases. Or maybe I'll make a strip. Um, something different to just collage things through um, or put on. So that's what we're going to do today. So... With this, I did create a center pocket. So I want to look at um, decorating this. I don't know, though, if I'll get to that. So I've got to look at what I'm feeling at and everything else. 
um, what I'm looking for. I just like to page through. These are the generally the pages that I put in when I'm developing, you know, a junk or a journal. Um, now, mine that I put together are vintage themed, um, which means I use vintage images. I use vintage stamps, uh, vintage... Um, I don't necessarily have vintage photos or papers, which some of these are. I mean, like this book here, Sanctuary. Um, the copyright on the book was in the early 1900s. So I will put those pages in. I do add coffee dyed papers to my journals. Um, I do add music sheet. I don't know if it's vintage. Okay, it's just in there. So that's the difference with me. I find it's very difficult to find um, vintage items. I don't have many estate sales near me, and that's really the best way that I think. And honestly, I don't search the web. I'm sure I can do that um, at some point. So mine are, I like to say, are vintage themed um, when it comes to the journal process. Um, tell you what, I'm going to be right back. I think somebody's knocking on my door. Okay, so now sanity or insanity is coming in because I'm hearing things now. Okay, so these are just, again, the this is usually the general base um, that I use when I put together my journals. But again, they they have a vintage feel. They have a vintage style to it. I do love to pull in stamps um, for those images as well. So I kind of build. Um, but when I find something that is vintage, absolutely, um, I pull it in. I was very fortunate. Um, you know, one of my viewers did give me um, one of those Edith Holden books. And uh, yeah, I'm, I don't want to cut into it. So I will. So let's get started. You know, let's try not to keep you here too long. So what I want to do is I want to take one of these and create some ephemera. So that's tags, cards, and so forth. Now, even though I've sewn on this, it's okay. Um, I'm going to cut right through those strings. So for this... I'm going to cut this three and a half and again it's not going to be perfect and I'm good with that but the one edge is going to be straight and again it has to be because of my sewn edge which is okay but what that tells me then is what I'm going to do with these is make them pockets so these are I'm just going to say eight inches wide, even though I have that inch in there. All right, so I'm going to hold off on these two. In fact, I'm going to grab my book. So I know we've got that. Now, the beauty of it, too, I don't have any stitched lines on this side which is awesome because what I do want to do then is create that deckled edge yes I'm grabbing stuff all right let's see if these will work I love these scissors but they do you know what I want to tear I just want to tear Yes, I have figured out the tear roller. Isn't it amazing? Of course, I always have my vintage photo on hand. So I know I've been getting, as I ink around these, I have been getting a lot um, of emails <laughs> of people asking I haven't been showing my journal videos, and I do really apologize for that. Um, very much so, I apologize. 
Um, but I've actually been getting ready for a, a shirt a showcase that I do every year. Um, I'm just gonna find some find a page here. Where's the center? No, I don't want to put this there. Um, so yes, it's it's one that I do every year. Now that would look awesome, wouldn't it? No. Um, and always, you know, it's it's in person. Well, with our, um, you know, the the challenge, the journey that we're all taking. Um, when it comes to our COVID, we, um, they actually, what they did was, there's two that I do, and the one, it's a, it's a two-day event, um, they actually canceled theirs. Um, they didn't want to take a chance, and, and by all means, I mean, I respect that. Um, they didn't want to take a chance. You know, for anybody to get hurt, anybody to get sick, um, whether the vendors or, or the participants to come in. And then the other one that I was involved in, they decided, and I think this is really cool, to be honest with you, they decided to do it virtually. Um, I just think that is so cool that they did that. I think it's a great idea. I don't want to put that in upside down. Um, so I've been getting ready for that. Um, there are some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things going on in there. Um, and, and I don't mean by me. I mean by <laughs> all the other vendors. I get to sneak peek um, onto the website as they continue to build the landing page. Um, so it's really cool. So you'll be able to go onto that website and then when you click on there, you'll be able to see all the vendors and then they'll have all of their, their links, um, that are going now my Etsy link, I'm not going to put that in there. Um, I'm actually just putting my website. I just want to put my website in there. All right. Um, cause that's where the products that I've completed are going to be com uh, done, listed. Um, I I love Etsy. You know, I'll, I'll still have some stuff in there, but you're seeing I'm, I haven't been updating it, so I'm kind of focusing on the website right now. If anybody is has gone there, and even if the links aren't working, I may have shut them down um, for right now. Now the beauty of this trimmer here, this is the Tim Holtz Tonic Studios. It's I think it's the eight and a half. Um, it does go through material, so yay! That's awesome. Um, I want to make a, a tall tag, and this I can actually no. And this I'm actually just gonna cut. Out. I'm going to turn that over, bring that around, take my scissors, cut that edge off. I will keep this. I think it would be a cute, what this will probably be great is right here. It's probably exactly where I'm going to put it. Now I'm going to be able to tear my edges because you know I love to tear paper. I think it's very therapeutic. I'm just saying. And I'm going to give that a corner just a little bit. Now, these little scraps, I keep saying I save everything. Um, those little scraps, I don't. But, I did, wrong side. Um, I think that would look great right there. And just because I'm putting these down... It doesn't mean that I won't add more embellishments on top of it. Again, we're creating the base of 
the collage, okay, with, with these sheets that I'm doing. But again, I can put a butterfly on here. I can put a ticket because, you know, those are my, like, staples that I do, butterflies and tickets and, and everything else. So just to put something in here to spruce that up, a stamped image or, or something of that nature, um, just to put that on there. Because now we have a little tiny pocket there. Now we could, you know, put that there if we wanted to. Um, now I'm just going to put this to the side because I do all my tags at once because I have the little tiny circles, the rings that I got to do and, and all of that stuff. Right now I'm just building up to say, okay, we need a pocket or we need something that's going to hang down. Um, you know what? What I want to do... I'm going to tear... Uh, now you can see I can't tear that so I just gotta I'll take that because um, I like that edge I still have some sewing on there I have that I've got some of these edges on here but I want to have just a little bit more no what I need to do is just ink up the edges. So, in any of the journals that I create, I let the paper do what it wants to do. I mean, if I rip it and it doesn't rip right, you know, like down here, I'm good with it honestly. All right, so what I want to do, now this, I'm not going to put this in yet, but I do want to gauge. That is where I'm going to fold it. Because then this is going to come over this edge. I've seen um, Gail do these. I think she calls them flips. No, I think she does them in fabric. Um, but I'm actually going to create a tuck. Um, and I think that's what she does too. Now, for this one, I do want to back this. Now, what would I back it in? I'm going to back it with coffee dyed paper. And the reason why... I'm going to do that is so that we can write on it. Yes, I walked away. Um, so that they can write on the other side of that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this. And let's see if I have, and I want that to stick out. So it creates like a border when it comes, but I don't want it to be too big. All right, just like little tiny hints. And now I'll look at each of these edges. So this one, you know, putting this together, it can go a little quicker than the others. Um, only because just, you know, creating up those sheets. And then you can just have fun cutting them. You can see the number of items that I'm getting from each of these. That's why I'm saying I'm not quite sure, you know, how many. Oh, I like that. I think I want to be able to write on that one. Um... I, I never know how many pieces I'll need. All right, so I want that to go down like that, and I'm going to just place this. So you can see it got a little skinnier, but that's okay. Just as long as when I look at the other side, I'm not seeing too much of the magazine underneath it. And then I'm okay with that. I'm going to use 
my glue stick to apply this or to get this to stick. So anyway, so yeah, it's, um, that's pretty much what I have been doing. It's really, really, um, been taking my time, um, but really exciting. Um, I came up with some really neat ideas, um, combining, uh, the journals concept, the card concept, um, all those backgrounds that I make, you know, what do I do with them? Because I do not throw them away. Um, we see what I did with those. <laughs> so just a lot of fun. Um, as we get closer, I will be having a video. So, um, I'll give you some sneak peeks. Um, as we get closer, it will be open on November 7th, if anyone is interested. And I'll give more information, as I said, in another video. Um, okay, so I'm going to put this. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I want to put that there. And I do, I need, I want... All right, so I'm going to do that, and I think I'm actually going to use this as a topper as well. Now, that means I've got to do this, pray that it works, pray that it keeps on cutting, if not... I'll just tear it away like that. Oh, I like that. All right. Now, I'm going to snip that there. Just don't want to make it too, too big. And we will snip that there. So you can see, I will save that. Um, again, we're using, this was a strip, but we are using all of the pieces that we have. Now, what I'm going to do first, or what I want to do, is I'm going to take this and I'm going to put of glue up here and now I'm going to flip that over and do the same thing because then I know it's definitely secured I'm going to grab my mini stapler because that is how I'm going to attach this and I just I don't want to go too crazy and I do want to go off to the side and I'm just gonna have that go right there All right, so now when I close, I've got that sticking out. And the beauty of it, again, if you have something, you can put it there and, you know, I'm, I'm wiggling and going right up into the camera there, so sorry about that. Um, you know, you've, you create this tuck. You can even do it on the other side. You know, things can tuck in there um, when it comes to that concept. So now I have that. I like to keep space open. <clears throat> I keep my spaces open when it comes to um, 
areas. I like a lot of writing space for the most part. Um, I do, though, you know, I enjoy the ephemera and putting that in. So something like this. I think this looks great. So I'm going to put this down here. It's a, it's just a small tuck that we can create. So we may not, I'm still on the per, first page of the collage. And we may not... have to do anything else I like to leave some of the writing now of course I do scan as best as I can when it comes to the writing please tell me I did not put that in upside down if not it becomes decoration just saying all right I did not but you know small pocket there I do like to leave that again it adds something to it um you know it's just something different this one I'm going to leave alone. I'm going to leave this alone because you can write on an angle on that. Um, now, what I also like to do, again, the concept of collage, right? So if I take this, I mean, why not? Tear. The concept of collage is ripping things, tearing things, layering things. Um, do not stress over the um, writing or, or, excuse me, no, don't stress over what you're layering and having things match. Just go to town and layer things. You you will know if something doesn't look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here. And I'm, then I will tell you I'm also going to use my glue stick again for that. I do like the darker side. It's funny. Whenever I do my coffee dyed papers, um, I do do them in an oven. Um, and... I absolutely hate doing it. <laughs> you know, for the longest time, I kept on saying, I am not <laughs> doing coffee dyed paper. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing coffee dyed paper. <laughs> um, it gives that vintage feel. So... The reason why I put this down, didn't allow it to be a pocket, is there's a place to write. But we still see the music paper. Um, that's something that I like. It's a place for people to still jot down. This This is something that they would be able to pin something to um, and so forth. Again, this is something that they can pin something. Here is a way for them to journal. How do I decorate this up? You know what? Just add your vintage photo you don't have to use vintage photo um, you can use any color ink you want maybe you don't like the vintage look maybe you just like spring colors well then pull out your bright colored inks um, you can definitely use them again I just put a little bit there but again huge area for them to or for someone to um, journal on now since this page isn't going to have anything I can take this I can fold this over and now we've created a tag so now what I want to do and again it's just a tab I said tag didn't I yes I did so I'm gonna put that there and I am going to use my um, mini stapler here I do not believe that the mini stapler is available through Stampin' Up! anymore um, yeah because I had to buy boxes of the staples so now I have that so when I close now I've got that sticking out I love things and a place where I can put my charm because I always add charms I always add these when it comes to the regular journals that I'm doing I know I'm doing all types of other ones but again these are hitting the things that I do. So 
see, and it's great. They can flip that up, continue writing. So I have that. I've got my pocket there. So I'm pretty much moving along here. I'm going to leave that blank. Now, the other thing that you can do, too, I won't leave that blank. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Grab something. So the thing that you can also do, just like I did with, and again, you can see all my scraps in here, just as I did with, and again, and I don't care about the scraps because we're just putting things in here. Just as I did with this, you can do the same thing with your pattern papers, but don't create a pocket. You, it's a decoration that you're doing. Where am I at? Okay, 24 minutes. So if I take this, and I'm just going to, so what I can do, but I don't want to lose that tear. So to break these colors up, I'm just going to put that there and glue that down. It's a decoration. So know that you can do that. It doesn't always have to be a pocket or a tuck. You can use them just as your decoration. Now, could you make this into a pocket? Absolutely, you can. Um, I'm choosing to just make that a design element um, in the journal. And again, glue stick. And we'll push that down. So again, design element. Cute design element. I will save this one. I'll put that back in my bag there. That's sitting off to the side. And let's see. So this here, we can do the same thing. We could actually take that piece because we have it there. I am running out of room. Can you tell? Yes, yeah, because you can hear it. Um, so it could go absolutely there. Now, here's the difference on what we can do. Now, let's let's do another another piece because that's that's close. All right, that's kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to just come across an angle. Of course, we've got to do our inking. I am going to glue that now. I'm going to turn it into an upper tuck. I'm going to put that right on the edge. Again, it's an upper tuck. You can put something in there and it will stay. It will not fall out. So again, you have these illusions that honestly will drive people crazy, but that's okay. You know, that's, that's totally, totally all right. Let's see, do I have any more? No, I just have that tag. I don't think I have any more of that collage paper unless I'm missing it on my table. I think we can actually move on okay moving on and what's cool is we are almost halfway through um, that section so again just filling in things is really really awesome 
All right, so I think I'm going to do the same thing. I think I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut a section out. I'm going to go to three and three quarters this time. I'm looking at the size here. No, actually, I'm going to go to four because I do want. I want to create more pockets. So. And then, no, actually, I'm just going to tear right across that. There we go. Tear as much as I can um, because I just love the look. Now, what I'm going to do here, again, and these are just ideas that I'm coming up with. I know there's no stitches. I am going to tear that off and of course I didn't do it the right way but that's okay now what I'm going to do on this side is add a piece of uh, coffee dyed paper and I'm going to cut actually this right up And I'm going to come across like that. And then what I'm going to do is actually do this. And you will see why. So I want to attach that piece. And I'm going to attach it just like that. Gives me layers. Um, and just make sure that that's flush against that. Now I'm going to go to town with my vintage photo on that layer and I'm going to come in with this one. Come across all those edges. And I even vintage photo the, the fabric. You know, nothing is sacred with my vintage photo. Um... <clears throat> So I need something where it's going to go on this side. All right. Where it's going to sit over here. And I think that's perfect. That's very plain for me. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to position this so that this hangs over. So I get this. Um, different edge. Now, I could go here, but my whole purpose of that is to make sure that it hangs outside the book. Now, I can also matter of fact, I think I'm going to go right here. I'm actually going to create that upward moment. No. I'm going to set this right here. Again, it's something different. So you can see it's going to come across. Now, you'll see what I'm the reason why I want that to hang over. All right. So, I'm actually going to glue that. So, let's I always like to hold the piece as I'm putting it in because then I know where my glue needs to go. Because it's a, you know, it's funny. All right, so I'm going to hold this page up because I know I'm going to put this here. I'm going to come around and now I'm going to bend this. I love wrapping my papers over the edge of a book page or a page. I think it adds um, a different type of element. Um, it strengthens up the edge. It decorates it. I mean, you just have all kinds of fun with it, pretty much. I'm going to make sure that gets down. Make sure that gets down. And make sure that gets down. Now, something tiny can go in here if you want. 
um, totally, totally, you know, your choice. I have this awesome edge that's coming over it. So now I'm really just going to go over with my vintage photo so that it's just that color of brown. And now we have that, and it is a pocket. Okay, so that's what's awesome. And again, you shouldn't play with your pockets until they're dry. Just saying. All right, so now we've got that. What else do we want to do here? This could be that. Eh, there we go. Now, you know what? I really. Excuse me. Um, all right, let's think around this. This is going to be a cover. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull in that ruler. And I'm going to come across this top ever so slightly. So I am going to use this as a complete cover for this insert pocket here that's at the center. I think that looks great. It's perfectly framed, um, and I really, really like that. So again, glue step. Now, the other thing that I also, I don't, um, I don't get too concerned about are, you know, like edges of papers. Um, I'm okay if, you know, it all depends on the corner that's sticking up. So I review that, you know, once in a while. I don't want these edges down here to be too loose only because they'll get caught in the book. Now I'm going to use my mini brayer. I love this mini brayer. I just want to make sure that that's pushed down. All right, so we got that. So I think that looks cool against the music paper. So I need one more page or one more over here. Now let's see. I could do that right there. And I just snap. I just snap through those stitches when it comes to that. So yeah, firm hand. Um, I think I do want to go with that. And I'm going to tear this right here. Loving that that's sticking up. I hope I'm staying in frame this whole time. Oh my goodness. And we are, again, I also ink the fabric that's there. Just to stress that up a little bit. And again. glue all over my fingers. What time are we at? Okay. And now I'm going to put that down like that. I am going to use my brayer just to add some pressure to make sure it does get down there, especially at the point where it's at the signature. So there you go. I really like that. And now we've got a pocket to put whatever we want in our journal as well. All right, so let's see here. What else we got? Look at that. 
let's finish up. I think I pretty much have everything in place that I want for this side. Um, I think, though, I do want to add... I'm going to add another strip of coffee dyed paper here. Um, different... different shape. And it's all about collage. And again, this is an area where people would be able to write um, maybe a thought or a, a quote. They can just jot that down. You know, again, journals can be anything that you want them to be. If you're a doodler, you can doodle in your journal. If you like to write down quotes that inspire you, um, you can do that as well. Um, I think something needs to go here. Yeah. Something needs to go there in this corner. I'm I'm trying to to see that, and I do want something collagey. If that makes sense. They can be squares. It can, you know. Again, we've just got all of these choices. Matter of fact, you know what? I am going to put a pocket right there. I have something up there. I have that. I have that. All right. So I'm going to put this as a pocket. Put a bead of glue. I do like to use my art glitter glue for when I'm putting pockets in. I think it gives us a stronger hold. Um, and when I am putting pockets in, I do just come up a little bit from the edge. It all depends. And then I'll hit that, you know, with something. All right, and there's a pocket there. These, I love putting tracing paper sheets in my pages because if you write something here, you can see it on the other side. So I think that's really, really cool. I'm going to leave these alone. I really like that setup. So the first half of the book, already done that. <clears throat> I think that's really awesome. I need another piece of coffee dyed paper, I feel, because I do want to do that there, but I kind of, no. All right, get another piece of coffee dyed. I use my ruler. I like to have different shapes when it comes to the pieces. All right. So for this one. We're going to have that go like that, or do I want that to go like that? No, I want it to go like that. You know what? All right. Now that's kind of cool, because now I can go right down that center there. I like the fact that it cuts in the center. And again, 
just a journal note, um, a thought. Again, there's that other piece that you can have fun with. I've got a pocket on this side. Um, I think what I want to do is just put a tag up on top here. So let's look at this. Yep. Pull that out. And we'll put a nice one, nice size in there. I'm going to put it closer to here. Now, again, I'm going to use my fastener. And again, because I have these tails coming down, now again, you can put a piece of paper in there and it won't come out. Um, same on the other side. Now, again, I wouldn't go throwing this. More so, you know, on this side, you know, you really have to put it in on an angle. Um, this side, for some reason, is always looser than the side where the flat of the staple is. So, just a little, you know, that's fine. I'm going to put this too. I mean, I know I have a piece of it here, but again, we can tie things in by using our same colors, our same prints. You don't have to. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. I can put this up underneath here to give it the illusion if I wanted to. And I, actually, I think I like it. I really do like that right there. always ink as long as we remember <laughs> I always forget <laughs> although I've been on a roll with this one and I'm just gonna put that right underneath there just a little bit lower and glue that so now we have decoration on that I've got a pocket there so here we go I mean we are just trucking along um, I would like to put a cover on this side. And the way that we can do that and To tear that edge. Definitely want to do this. Pick that up. And then by doing this, I can't find my glue. Found it. Now I'm going to create a pocket on top of this. Now you can either decorate it, um, create a pocket. I do like to create pockets on mine. Place that down. Let that dry. So now I've got that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> so this here, I've got a small piece here. I mean, we could put that there or I mean, I could actually have this coming out here. Again, your pockets don't have to be down in your corners. I mean, you can have just way, way too much fun. So I think for this one too, I'm going to turn that because I think this is going to be one of those little tiny things right here. So 
So I'm going to take that, I'm going to bend it. And I'm just going to keep a little bit out. I'm going to turn this into a decoration. So this is going to sit down here. I am going to use my liquid glue for this one instead of now you can turn this into a pocket if you want just going to do those three sides so i'm going to glue this side first bringing it down and then keeping it out just a little bit making sure it's straight and then flipping over and then putting that side down So you get a little tiny pocket, you get a little bit of a decoration on this. So when that's closed, this is open, you see all that, have that. And then you just have a small pocket here. So that's kind of cool. Okay. I think I'm going to save that one. I do want to make sure that I get a couple tags, so I'm going to set this aside. You can see how we're expanding our journal now, which I always think is awesome. <clears throat> I love watching that. So I am going to cut another three inch strip. Now I want to go down a little bit skinnier. Alright, so I have that, and let's see, I want to do one more strip, and I really am just going to go there, and then for this, because I don't need too many, you know, again, I never, I don't make, <coughs> excuse me, um, when it comes to my journals, my journals are usually simply, the covers are simply an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper folded in half at the 5.5 mark. Um, so they're 5.5 by 8.5, and, um, and then my pages are just, you know, smaller in there, I guess you can say. Um, all right, this here, I'm going to do this and cut that. And then I'm actually going to cut this one in half. And you'll see what I do with those. Alright, so now I have some tags. So now I'll show you what I'll do with my tags. And I think that will... Well, you know what? Now I'm going to keep you in suspense. Yes. So, out of the three sheets that I have, I have this. These here, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these in the next video. I have this, and then I have this. This is definitely a tag. So I'm going to show you what I do in the next video and what I do with my tags. Because again, we could just keep it like this, but I do like to cover that. Again, as much journaling spot as space as we can. Um, so I will show you that in the next video. Um... And then it looks like I don't know still if I'm going to need another collage sheet because I almost have this filled and I think this will be it. So we'll make that determine in the next video. So I know I annoyed you keeping you in suspense on that, but that's the fun of it, right? Right. I do hope you enjoyed this. Um, hope I gave you some tips and tricks and showed you different things to just throw things that we already have in our stash together and you can make a journal um, when it comes to that. Don't do everything I do. Just use what's in your stash, but make sure you have fun with it. All right, everyone, continue to enjoy your day. Continue to stay safe and healthy. By all means, if you have questions down below, make sure you leave those down below. Um, I love reading your comments um, and answering your questions. I hope I'm helping. Um, if you're interested in some of the products that I use, I have those in my Amazon link under the uh, journal side. So make sure you check that out. 
Um, but everyone, please remember, have fun with this. Enjoy it. If you're getting frustrated, you're defeating the purpose. Enjoy. We all create art. And every day, even if we just do it a little bit, always be creative. Till next time, guys.